Okay, so now we're going to talk about another shape, which is very important in maths. We're going to talk about the circle. Okay, everyone knows what a circle looks like. It's round. Okay, so there's our circle. Right, a few things. We call the point, the length from the centre of the circle to the edge, the radius. Okay, and we call the distance right the way across the centre of the circle, going through the middle, it can go through any way. We call that the diameter. Okay, the distance all the way around the edge of the circle, we call the circumference. And basically the circumference is essentially the perimeter of the circle. Now, if we wanted to work out the circumference of the circle, would need the help of a special number called, ooh, that's a very poor attempt at drawing, uh, a special number called pi, which looks something like that. Now pi is a recurring, is a decimal that goes on forever. It's, I think the most anyone's ever recited is over 4,000 decimal places. Personally, I wouldn't bother learning to that many. You don't need it for your GCSE. You don't need it for anything in life, really, other than trying to get a Guinness Book of World Records. Tom Tennis Purpose is 3. Pi is roughly 3.142, if you need to remember it. Otherwise, it's just a button on your calculator. And we need to use it to work out the circumference of a circle and also the area of a circle. So the circumference just equals pi times by the diameter. And because the diameter just equals twice the radius, we can also say that the circumference is 2 times pi times r. Also the area, pi comes in helpful, area just equals pi times r squared. Okay, so let's say we had our circle here had a radius of 5 centimetres. Okay, that's going to mean its diameter is 10 centimetres. Okay, so the circumference is going to equal pi times by 10, which is going to be roughly 31.4 centimetres. Okay, the area is going to equal pi times r squared. Now r is 5, so r squared is 25. So pi times 25, which I will need a calculator for. Find the, cap find the pi button on your calculator. You'll often find you need to press second function first. So pi times 25 is 78.5. Remember that centimetres squared because that's the area. Okay. So that's the basics with a circle. That's the radius, the diameter, the circumference, and the area. I haven't calculated all of those. Let's look at some other different things about the circle as well.